Hi, this is Marianne LeBlanc. I'm a Sage 300 consultant, and today I'm here to give you a tip on how to populate certain fields in the contracts module of Sage 300. So here I have my contracts module open. I'm going to go and open one of my contracts. And on the general contract tab, we have this uh, tab over here called References, where you can put in a project manager or a billing person, perhaps architect or the owner of the contract, maybe even the salesperson. So to populate these fields, so if I wanted to choose a project manager, I would come down here and choose from this list. But this list is generated or created in accounts receivable. So that's what I'm here to show you how to put on. So if I can put on the project manager here on this um, contract, I'm gonna close out of this and close out of contracts and show you where they're populated. So we come up here to accounts receivable and it's in setup and contact. So here's where that contract list is generated from. So I would choose list. I think I chose this project manager and here he is coming up as a project manager. If you wanted to make this customer specific, of course we hit tab and then we would come down here and we could choose from our list of customers to make this customer specific if you needed that. Um, or we can simply add a new one here. And I am to, to make myself a architect today. So here's where I would choose where I am, tab. Um, again, could make this customer specific if I wanted, could further fill out these fields if I wanted to. I'm going to hit save and close. And now if I go back to contracts and choose a contract, come back to this references tab, come back to the architect, I can choose from my list and uh, here I am.